No, it's uh, it's pretty cleaned up. Is it nothing yeah. in it? There's a few things, but no door handles. Okay. 61 Impala wagon. It looks like it's been through a meat grinder. Now Buicks are over here. Well, basically, we're we're looking for a, a door handle to complete a set. We found a door. It's not the handle we need, but we have another set we can complete with this one. So we're going to get a screwdriver, we're going to take it off. And he says he's got a bucket of them we're going to go through also and see if we can find the one we're actually looking for. I had just become debt free, which I was trying to do before my unemployment ran out, obviously. And I got hit with a, a huge orthodontic bill for my daughters. I had a few things sitting in the garage. They sold really quick. I made some money on them. So I started looking around. I found some more cars. I've been doing pretty good on it. Actually, I'll be able to pay him off before my unemployment runs out, which will be nice. <laughs> Lately, a typical Friday morning with Phil Winkler and Eloisa Sanchez is like a small expedition. Okay. Where are we, going? we are going to the junkyard in San Bernardino. <laughs> the couple live with their two daughters on a cul-de-sac called Beth Court in Moreno Valley, California. A lot of changes have taken place here over the last two years. And the Winklers, who have lived here for over a decade, have seen most of them. Well, when, when we got here, the houses you see directly across the street from you weren't here. None was, of these on the side either. None of these. Not that one either. And this right across the street was just field. In many ways, Beth Court reflects the region's economic doldrums. Over the last two years, half of the eight homes on the cul-de-sac have gone into foreclosure and changed hands. The Winklers have held on to their home throughout the difficult times. This was supposed to be a starter house. We were supposed to just live in it for a while and then move on to better and things. When the, it was at its peak, he wanted to sell and move on to a different house. But I seen it, okay, we're going to sell this house, but are we going to be able to afford a house similar to what we have or better? But they did not move. And last August, things took a turn for the worse. I worked at a company for 14 years. They consolidated and moved the whole company to Modesto. Since I've been out of work, I've been looking for a job. I'm on the internet every day. I mean, I've been going, taking tests, pass the test, but there's so much competition that you don't always get the interview. Before he lost his job, Phil worked in a bottling company. Lately, with his military background, he has sought work with the California Sheriff's Department. That's what I would prefer to do. That's a career because I'm tired of doing jobs. I want a career that's more career oriented. Eloisa works as a dental office manager, but it's not enough to pay all the bills. Which is why on certain Friday afternoons, the couple can be found roaming local junkyards. Let's go look over here real quick. This is a lot better layout. Need some nice lights on a T-Bird 68. When I saw him do it the first time, he brought something, and I'm like, what the heck did you spend money on this for? <laughs> you want junk? We have junk. And he sprayed it and cleaned it up, and it was like brand new. And then he put it on eBay and got, I was like, oh my God. Put what do you want to take off? The ice tray. What else is in here? Well, when you get in there, you'll look. Right now, they are looking for a set of door handles from a 1967 Buick Riviera. Patience. That's one thing you do have to be very patient. Ah, found one, Phil. Huh? Found one. Riviera? Yeah, you but sure? it's a front end. Does it have a, a connector for the, another handle? Yeah. Okay, so that might be the right door. We have the same goal. You know, this is for our kids. So I think that's what helped us. Well, Phil's little carpool buddy, since he's been out of work for so long, is St. Jude. And he's supposed to be the saint of, of miracles. He brings miracles. So my mom told, well, gave it to me. And she said, St. Jude will get Phil a job. So we already looked at this. Uh, Tornado, right? Oh no, they're the little um, socket. I need the smallest socket and use it. That's small, that's probably too small. We came across this car about two weeks ago. I've got this chrome piece off the front here, which is a three piece set. I listed it on eBay, and uh, at the end of the auction, we ended up selling it for $190. But it's kind of fun, you know. I don't know. It's out of necessity right now, but hey, things can be worse eBay won't solve their economic problems. That's it, right, Phil? Uh, but it will help pay off the $6,000 bill for their daughter's braces. Well, yeah, that's it. Well, it's going great as long as I can continue to find these, these parts that I've been selling. Like I said, there's not a whole lot out there, but right now it's, 
taking care of a bill that was unexpected a couple months ago. Phil's unemployment ran out in July, but a three-month extension bought him a little more time. It's kind of exciting, like I said, it's like a treasure hunt. You go looking for a treasure. When you really look for something to do, and you need an extra income, you open your eyes, you do find stuff.